Okay, uh, hello from Excel Wizard. Today I'm gonna introduce you to Microsoft Excel FMWC Speed Run, which is created by Lawrence. And I really appreciate that he created this one because in normal competition, I have no chance to compete with this very good guy here. So let's see the ranking here. So Lawrence is curry ranking first place and soon to be champion with he got like full score almost every state and second place is Diamond. so in normal state i'm not doing very good because i have i have lack knowledge of financial and my english is not very good so when he like okay let's see state result here this is day six. Uh, Lawrence take like one and a half hour, and he already complete every question with time, with good time, and this is his score one thousand three hundred seventy. Let's see our second place, like Dear Moon, same, like one and thirty eight minute, one thousand three hundred point. Let's see my score here. Same time, one and a half hour, but I only got 400 points. And here, like, I think the first one I remember the question here, like, very simple financial term, like, WACC, which average cost of capital, which is very commonly used, but I still got it wrong. And then, the rest, I think the third question is like pure financial with I have no idea what to do so yeah here's my score but in speed run so when you join the competition and after the competition competition is closed then you will get the solution file then I can use that one to study on how to find the answer and find a way to optimize and practice a lot of practice and then I can outrun Rawlins like this one. So and again before this I only practice one for each question because doing the same thing repeatedly is quite boring but with this speed run i have record to beat so i can like practice so many rounds until it get into my brain longer than usual okay then uh, let's see some of the case here there are rules here so rules for general game rules so for like 30 minute battle case minimum except score is 1000 point okay like this one this is the battle case so and the latest version of the file you will have some check mark if you answer it correctly like if we got it wrong you got cross mark and then answer right you will get it and this one is very simple formula so if your answer is equal to correct answer give the one and then if it blank that means you are not feeling the answer yet just keep zero and then if it's wrong minus one and then conditional formatting here i can set with one with check mark zero with nothing and then x mark with negative one okay so this one you don't have to prepare anything but uh you may have to do it with some earlier version of battle case and okay i forgot about the case the case file you can download all here i will give you the link in the description then the hard part is normal state normal state case you have like a zip file with two folder and then you have like solution folder which is this one um have to open this 
So this is the solution file. You have question with correct answer and then the state file like this. You don't have any question sheet so this one you have to make it up. But for someone you would check like manual process and that will take you so long to do that. So today I'm gonna help you on how to make the question sheet right here. So, okay, I'll wait. Here is the question sheet. So, first thing I do, I open with any browser or PDF thing, and then just control A to copy everything, control C, and I like to place it somewhere below here. So, if you do normally placing, it will get rid of the line blade and everything. Is on the same line and that is not really useful so use paste page control alternate V here and then paste text now you got the line break for each one and then you already want the question like one two three here so I'll use formula to help with this one so I'm start with let and Z I usually use C for my data go down here and just in case, like more question, okay, uh, like maybe four hundred, and then return me the C first. So this is the question, and then I need to check star letter that have to be number. So use negative left of Z here. Now you will get. Minus one for question one, minus two for question two. Then I will check if this is number is number. Then you got true false here, and when you got true false, you can use filter. C by this one, and here you go all the question. But then we don't need the score, right? So we need to get rid of the score. So we I'm gonna. Use this sign. Okay, this sign. It's hard to tie with long dash. So copy that and then I use text before and quote like this. And you get this. And some question doesn't have the dash because like question 5 and 19 here. See, question five you have a uh, separate line, so you have to copy. So F two, control A, control C, go up F two, and then just control V. I think it should be good. Okay, now we have question five and then nineteen. Same. This one F two, control A, control C. Go F F two control V. Then you got all the question, but okay. Uh, just in case that we have many dash on some question, so in stand number I will use the last dash, so minus one here, just in case. So and this is how you got the question. I paste it here, and this is E S Q E S T I O N. Then you feel answer here in SVR and then point. Now we want to extract the point. So I like to put somewhere here. I can use the same formula. So just F2, Control A, Control C here and I paste it here. Only different is I use text after. Now we got the point here, but with in text, so I only want number, so I use double negative to change text to number and then left by most of the time it's two digit, but just in case with hundred points, so I use three digit here. All done. Then the correct answer, unfortunately, Excel cannot read format like both take this one so this one could be done with some VBA I think 
I'm not sure about that, but uh, this one I have to do manually, so I'll just copy and paste the correct answer here. Copy paste, but this one uh, number or uh, date, it should be number, but my Excel is in UK format, so have to be date, month, and year, so like this. Okay, this is all the answer and then I'll just sum everything here. So 600 point as in state in the game rules and then now when we like fill the answer we should not uh, get to round the answer so I use formula to help. So first I use let answer is this one and then correct answer is this then i need to find how many digit on each answer so i use this len of correct answer minus len oh no no minus five dot of correct answer so this is two digit and if I copy down, sum with the integer, you will not find any digit. And it is 4 digit for percentage, 4 digit, 3 digit for percentage. But it's end with 0, so cannot do anything with that. And then, if error, give me 0, that means no digit. So when we answer the form, we copy answer from the model, most of the time you will have some fraction of decimal like 2, 5 like this. And if you check instantly like this, you got wrong answer. So this round will help you. So round answer by this digit, and you got 9.7, then this become more easier when, when you don't have to round your answer there and then there are some with text here like i so when you round the text you got error here so i have to check if it's text or number so if n n is a function that returns number if number and, and return zero if it's not number so if number then round this but if not just return the answer here so if we put i it will return i here and then with this one i just check with the correct answer so if this equal to correct answer then give me the point here, if not, give me zero. Like this. But if we not fill answer, we don't want to it to return zero. So another if here. If answer equal to blank, give me blank. Then like this. So this is how I check with the answer. And then just sum. No, some have to be from here. 60 point. Then if we copy answer from the model, paste here like with some digit, some decimal, you still got the correct answer because it's rounding. And what I would do next is I copy this and paste format. So it will have to more beautiful thing to do and then another check for correct answer to be easier to look so I just highlight all this and then create conditional formatting out h l n use formula and that formula is equal to point here j 
just lock column only and then fill with green here okay so when you got correct answer you get green and then the final one LHLN if we got like no okay I just like equal to the total score equal to 600 just give me dark green here okay this you know when you or answer is correct so I can check by just copy this and paste to this so got correct answer and dark green here so this is how I prepare my answer sheet oh one more thing question and this is no no restrict format you can do it anywhere you like but this is how I do so and okay another thing I saw a new face here on the reader board like picture ya she the one who taught me financial stuff here and me here Lawrence and the latest player here is Pythagoras so thanks for coming here so I hope everyone will join this one because anyone with practice can do faster than me so okay so that's all thanks for watching and have a nice day bye